Hi there, today we're going to talk about place value and regrouping. So place value, a quick review. If we have the number 31, the 3 here actually means 30 or 3 tens. The 1 right here is the same as 1 or 1 1. So we're going to be looking at different numbers today and see if they can be regrouped. So now let's look at this word regrouping. Regrouping means to move something from the ones to the tens or the tens to the hundreds if it is over nine. So if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones, and then we add one more one or ten ones, it's no longer a, t a one, it's a ten. There are ten of them in here. So if I add seven, seven ones, plus three ones, we have the number 10. We have one 10 and no ones. So if we add some tens and some ones together, we might need to regroup to make them more tens and less ones. Let's take a look. Imagine we have three tens and we have 13 ones. Can we change that over so that we have more tens and less ones? Well, three tens is the same as 30. And 13 ones is really 10 and 3. So if we have 10 and 3, we have a 10 here. So we, can we change this around so that we have more tens and only a few ones? Well, yes, we can. We now can add that 10 to these tens to make it 40, and we have just this 3 left over, which we have here. Now, 40 is the same as 4 tens, and 3 is the same as 3 ones. So if we regrouped, we changed that 10 over to this 10 here, that's our four tens, and we have our three ones left over. We've regrouped, we've added the extra 10 back in there. Now, is three tens and 13 ones the same as four tens and three ones? Well, yes it is. Let's try this with another. So now that we know what place value is and regrouping, let's see if we can find the value of different numbers, even if we have to regroup. So we have this number, four tens and 16 ones. What's the value of this number? Well, if we regrouped, you should find that our value is 56. Let's walk through it and see how I found that out. So here we have four tens, and here we have 16 ones, or one ten, and six ones. We can put those two tens together. So if we put, bring this ten over here, it becomes five tens. And then all we have left over is the six ones right here. Bring that down, and we have the number 56. Great job. Let's try another. What would the value of 7 tens and 4 ones be? What would 7 tens and 4 ones be? If you said 74, pat yourself on the back. Did we need to regroup? No, we didn't. We just had to combine the two numbers. So 7 tens is the same as 70, and 4 ones is the same as 4. 70 and 4 make 74. Nice job. For review, let's do this for a problem. What is the value of 6 tens and 14 ones? So if we look at these, see if you need to regroup. Notice if there are multiple tens. If you got the answer of 74, you did a great job. If we look here, six tens is the same as 
60. And here we have 14 ones. 14 ones is 110 and 4 ones. We can add 60 plus 10 to get 70 and then add 4 more on. So 60 and 10 is 70 plus 4. 70 plus 4, we get a value of 74. Nice work. Today we've been practicing place value and regrouping. Sometimes you will be adding tens with ones and the ones will have more than nine ones. We have more than nine ones you need to regroup. Great job and I can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.